Hey there, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we're looking at how to handle depth from your opponent this week at DTL. Specifically, we're doing a little three-part course on how to move back behind the baseline and counter that really heavy deep ball from your opponent. In the last video, we looked at the actual footwork pattern to get us back there. Hopefully you saw that. Today, I wanna go over two really key ideas for executing a good swing back through this ball. All right, the first being ca uh, contact point, all right? And I, I don't love pushing the tennis ball. I don't coach people how to push the tennis ball, but a little bit of a tidbit out of the pusher's playbook is that, you know, they don't generally have a really big, full, athletic, modern forehand. A lot of times it's chopped up and they just kind of fight the ball off. The bonus for a pusher against a really heavy ball that jumps up is that they tend to be quick players and they tend to find a good point of contact. All right, so if you'll notice, Mark's gonna feed me in a heavy ball here. I'm gonna move back, I'm gonna take a, a little page out of the pusher's playbook and see if I can meet this ball still in front of my body. All right, so you can see a pretty pushy little stroke there, nothing I would ever coach. But how was my result? I guarantee you if, if you said, hey, there's a million bucks on the line and you gotta make this shot, a lot of you out there, even with big full swings, might go into something like that because it's so, I mean, contact point, I, I probably preach more about a good contact point than any other thing around the baseline. We gotta strike the ball in front of where our body's positioned. Now, I think if a player that hits this heavy of a ball into me and is driving me back, if I just push once, they're probably gonna load up and rip to the opposite corner on the very next shot. So I'm just kind of delaying the inevitable. So obviously, I love the modern forehand. I wanna make a bigger stroke, but what should be on the forefront of your minds as you're backing up off this ball in a full swing is to still meet the ball in front of your lead foot. So that's a timing issue. Most players with a good full swing that miss consistently against a good heavy ball from their opponent, they miss because they hit late. And that ball gets jammed up more parallel to the body, if not behind that right hip. And so what good did this really nice full back swing do for them? If we're gonna hit late and miss it out to the right or miss it long. So combined with the idea of still swinging the way you would like, to, would like to swing, we have to make sure that the contact point against a heavy ball, we have to find a way to get that contact point slightly in front of that lead foot. It's an absolute must. Now, the second part of, of today's video that goes hand in hand with being able to achieve this contact point in front of you is racket speed. I think many of you out there have seen a heavy ball come in before and it gives us this feeling of fear, like, oh my gosh, they just hit it so big. And so all of a sudden, we tense up and so there goes our racket speed. You know, if I've got a very comfortable ball here, Mark, just feed me one in low. Nothing threatening about this shot. So look at that racket speed through the ball. Now all of a sudden there's this big, heavy, high one. Oh my gosh, I get tight and I get jammed up, okay? And I, I think I still found an okay contact point there, but most players do not. We'll end up hitting late, we end up missing the ball. So in, in, order, in order to get that contact point early, we must have a, a nice significant amount of racket head speed to be able to clear the body and get out in front of us. Keep in mind, if an opponent has really driven you deep, we're, we're countering depth, we're handling this heavy ball, look how much space I have behind the baseline. There should be no fear about missing long because, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm swinging too fast. Generally, we get pushed back, we swing a little too slow and we miss short. So take on the idea that you might miss long because you're incorporating racket speed to a contact point that is definitely in front of your body.
All right, so let's incorporate that footwork we saw in the last video and, and see if I can manage the amount of racket speed I need to be able to achieve a good point of contact on the next couple swings. All right, so that, I felt like I swung almost as fast as I could, to be honest, and I liked my results, so I definitely know I got the ball in front of me. See it again. Yeah, let's go one more. And I gotta be honest, there I actually tried to miss long. I think I got it within a few feet of the baseline. Attempting to miss long, I still could not get it there. And that's coming from a pretty big, tall guy who, who can swing relatively fast. So I can't tell you how important that is as you get driven back. Don't fear missing long. Swing fast, cover the ball out in front of your body by a little bit, you're gonna like the results so much more than if you try to be too safe, catch it late behind your body without enough speed, and the ball just dumps off your strings, okay? All right, so that's all I got for you today. I hope that was super helpful. Please click like below this video, and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so, as well as check down below me in the description of this video. You'll find the link to three free courses that Mark and I have put together. I think you'll find those really helpful as well. All right, so until next time, be well, and we'll see you soon at Daily Tennis Lesson.